Hey everyone, name's Primal, here to show off a bit of uh, work that I've been doing for a project that I'm working on with the group. I've had several people asking me about it, how I've done it, and since I need to show it off for the group so they know how to utilize it as well, I figured I'd make a YouTube video showing such. So to show it off real quick, what I'm talking about is, as you'll see momentarily, it is starting to change over time and if I want to I can add an additional phase which instead of just being centralized will start off in the area and if I want an additional phase you'll see smaller spots starting to show up more rapidly so to show it off in a bit more of a different order so that you can see what I was talking about if I start off with the small stuff as you can see it's starting up and then if I go with the big stuff, I can do that as well. And ultimately, it will all be covered up. And over time, you'll see these. Uh, to emphasize it, it's blue right now. But essentially, it's destroyed earth. That is, decomp uh, that is you know, destroying light as if it's turning into lava type of thing. And it's starting to show up right here. So you can see it as it is appearing. Now a lot of people are asking how do I do this, how do I get it, and I'm going to show you. First things first, uh, in my material here, uh, I'm aware I'll talk about my material separately, differently at a different time because there's a lot of features in it, and I'll show that off then. But essentially you choose which ones you want the mutation in. I only needed it for two, so that's what I put it as. If you're wanting it for snow or for the changing weather so that it changes things, you can do it height-based if you'd like. Um, but essentially, mutations start, so when it's when the color itself only is changing. Sorry, I misspoke. This is for when the texture only is changing. Here within the material itself, I'll ha I have the mutation for the color. So right here is where the color only is changing. I used radial gradient exponential uh, node, which Unreal Engine has, and, uh, and I did that for simplicity's sake. You can always do it with a mask if you want the shape to be a specific way, um, and, and that would ultimately make it easier over time uh, but for simplicity and to show proof of concept that's what I did and then here is my noise node that I use for a lot of things so utilize this if you'd like um, here's the noise node this determines the size right here determines uh, how it shapes so X Y is obviously for x and y so rg is x and y b is up and down so it won't change you know it won't go up but it'll change the shape so if you're wanting specific shape in a specific area you can do that uh, and then the noise size obviously contrast strength negative slider so it start uh, this is the base size but you can make it start off smaller and then grow bigger um, things like that and then obviously this is the same this controls the noise for my color mutation for a color curve so we can close that out sorry let me save that I didn't change anything everything is misbehaving so I won't close anything else out for now now then that's for a specific focal point again this is also for spe specific focal point that utilizes the destruction. And this is just the mutation. Again, for texture, I showed the color one already. Sorry, I'm not going to close those right now. Now, in order to control this stuff, I created a blueprint um, component. And in this blueprint, component is where all the magic happens 
where we have the mutations, how quickly it'll change, and all that jazz. And that is essentially all I'm doing is I'm choosing how it will work. Now with that, in order to control this landscape, uh, this material via blueprint and however I want to, I needed to use a material parameter collection, which I have two of them here, one for the mutation, one for the destruction. Now the important thing to remember about these collections is they can only do vector and scalar and that's what I showed off in here. That's what these are. I chose the collection I wanted and put in the uh, which parameter I wanted adjusted. And then through this blueprint, I choose again the collection and which one I want to alter through the transition and the crawling. Now to set it up specifically to show it off, I only put it in the first person character right here. If you want to, uh, just to show it off, as I said, but you can put that into any blueprint actor so that it can utilize it specifically. And again, just to show it off, this is how I have it set up. Now, obviously, I have it starting at a faster rate. I'm going to change these real quick so that I can show off the understanding. But actually, I'll keep it at 1 and slow it down. I only have it for the area anyways. So compile, come down here where it starts. Hit play. I have it attached to one. There it is. It's growing. And there's phase two starting. And pretty soon phase three should be starting, at which point I will slow it down. Yep, right there. So now if I, as you can see, it's slowing down and now it's stopped. If I hit the, if I keep slowing down more, it's now gonna reverse. So then you can have it reversing as you see fit. And everything is starting to reverse. And then you can have it going back forward. And that is essentially how it works. So, thank you for watching. If you have any other questions or if you want more in a more in-depth um, analysis of the um, function or you need help setting it up because I missed something or not necessarily missed something but there was a part you didn't understand please feel free to leave a comment below and I will get back to you uh, in the near future thanks for watching